Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to discuss how we can apply and use count function using calculative field in Looker or in Data Studio. So as you can see over here in my table I have count of category which is showing how many times a particular category is present in my data. right? But if I'll show you the raw data source then you can see over here in my raw data source that I have category, date, quantity sold, unit price and last pot price. I do not have any column over here which has the category count. So in this video we will create this table and then we are going to apply or use the count function as a calculative field in our chart or table from scratch so that you can get the awareness that when, where and how we can apply the count function using calculated field. And before we use this function, let's understand the count function first. So count is a type of aggregation function in Looker and this count function helps you to count the number of items in a particular field. Now if we talk about the syntax of this count function, then we have this keyword count and then we have to give the numeric field. So this numeric field is a field or expression that contains the item to be counted which you want basically to get counted. So that is the numeric field we will give within this parenthesis. So let's go and create a calculative field using count in our table. So what I am going to do is that I am going to remove this count of category which I had created earlier. Now to get the count or to use the count function there are two ways to do it. The first one is quite simple is that you can come over here and select a categorical variable for example in our data category is our categorical variable and now if I select it then you will see that I have this count function. So it's showing one. So by default looker has taken distinct count of this category. Now if I come over here and click on it then you will see that you have aggregation over here and you have count as well as count distinct. So if I select count and I put a name over here that count of category and if I click somewhere on my page then you will see that you have a new field which says count of category and it's showing you the count of these categories. Okay, So this is the simplest way. But when you are using a calculative field to get some kind of result based on multiple expressions or by combining multiple functions and you have to use a count function over there then what you can do is that you can click over here on add a metric then you can click on create a field then you have to give name of that field for example I'm just giving count cat and then I'm going to put a formula so the formula is quite simple as I have told you it have two part the first part is the function which is count and then within this parenthesis I have to give the parameter value and this parameter value is a field or expression that contains the item to be counted so for us the item which I need to count over here is category so I'm just going to give category and then I'm just going to click on apply and you will see that we have a new field over here which says count cat this is the count category and it's the same value it's showing the same value over here so as we have successfully applied and used the count function using calculative field you might have a question in your mind that how does this count function work so this count function takes one parameter which can be the name of a metric dimension or an expression of any type and this count function returns the total number of item in that field or expression including the duplicates so this count function will give you the count including duplicates. If you do not want to count the duplicates then you have to use count distinct which we will be discussing in our future videos. As we have seen the use of this count you might be thinking that it's a simple function and there cannot be any limitations but let me tell you there is a limitation of count function in Looker. So you cannot apply this function to a pre-aggregated field and this pre-aggregated means that the aggregation type is something like auto or to an expression which is the result of another aggregation field. So for example you cannot put count or you cannot use count function when you have already used an aggregation function such as sum. So if I put 
sum over here under the bracket of this count then it will give me an error it won't work so this is how basically you can use count function in looker or google data studio happy learning and see you in the next video